Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omato, and this is going to be a follow-up to my Minecraft CPU uh, monitoring video. And I'll leave a link to that in the description, but you really need to refer back to that to see what I was uh, determining of how Minecraft uses the CPU. Alright, I have an Intel 10 uh, 900F processor, uh, but Ryzen does kind of similar things. So it may be of interest, but it's interesting how Minecraft uses CPU. So I said in that video that I was going to determine if uh, Windows was using the fastest cores on my system to put Minecraft in. I determined that it was dominating the CPUs and then moving them around. All right, I have 10 uh, cores and I have 20 uh, logical processors, all right, logical CPUs uh, on this chip. So basically, I did more research and determined that indeed that it is. All right. So Intel in this newer series, uh, ninth and 10th generation uh, i9s has the Turbo Boost Max Technology 3, all right, 3.0. And so 3.0 will give you an increased uh, single threaded performance, which Minecraft is essentially a single threaded application. It, it does have some other threads, but it's essentially CPU bound single threaded game. All right, it'll give you more performance, you know, and they give numbers and whatever uh, for uh, this with a uh, this Turbo Boost 3. All right, and then Windows 10 specifically implemented that the favored CPU core optimization in Windows 10 19 H2, which was the November 2019 release. Okay, so uh, I was able to determine through. Uh, First of all, through the extreme Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, uh, you know, I could see monitor the CPUs and all that, but I was able to determine that it lists the strongest cores in here uh, when you go to the tuning section and you choose per core. So 52 times is the max speed that I can get per cores and I can tune each one, but it stars your preferred ones, which was core one and see favorite core. Core three, core one and core three are considered favorite cores. Now, basically guys, what this means is that, uh, this article explains it better really, but when a CPU is manufactured, not all the cores are created equal. Some of the cores may have slightly different voltage and power characteristics that could allow them to get a boost in performance. These cores are called favored cores as they offer better performance than the other cores on the die. So it's part of the physical manufacturing process of just the silicon, how it works. Uh, and it lists that inside of the um, hardware of the core itself. So you don't have to do anything to do it, but it, it's listed and then Windows reads it and takes advantage of that. Okay. Uh, for, and then they give you a chart and stuff like that. I'll leave links to this articles and stuff if you're interested in that. But basically, I wanted to show you how to monitor it and see it, all right? To see that that is actually what is happening with Minecraft, all right? So I also have the CPU-Z software up here, and it lists the cores, the favorite cores in red here under the clock. So you go to Tools, and then you go to Clocks, and then it'll show you uh, this screen that lists all your cores and then it shows you the favored cores uh, listed here and then their current running frequency now they're not under heavy load or whatever at this time but again core one and core three all right is the favored ones so here in minecraft i'm paused uh and well i'm not technically paused i've got the the inventory open but you can see that it's moving between core uh, the the big minecraft thread is moving between cpu 3 all right then cpu 4 and then cpu 7 and then cpu 8 all right and this is using msi afterburner to see this and so it try it maximizes each one of those cores and that's what i was talking about in the other video and then it'll move down and it just keeps popping between three four seven and eight now i didn't know at that time that the preferred cores were cores one and three all right i did not know that yet but you could see it in practice because again there's 
two threads per core uh, for each one of these. So core zero is core is thread one and two or, or whatever logical CPU one and two. Core two is three and four. All right, and then or core one is three and four. Core two is five and six and core three is seven and eight so that's exactly what we are seeing we are seeing three and four being used and then seven and eight being used so windows is picking the favored cores when it's running minecraft and it's moving this thread between all of the favored cores to keep the highest performance for it and, and of course i can monitor the clock speeds and stuff now these will go up to 52 times uh, times 52 and you can uh set that to some degree in the extreme tuning utility uh and you, you could see it th this is hardware monitor uh yeah I, I can see that the turbo uh cpu turbo max is 52 times megahertz uh 52 times 100 it's when it's unlocked uh then the uh turbo limits is the same 52 for one to two cores in use and it scales according to the numbers of cores that are being used the, the frequency scales according to that now i still have some more to learn about that uh and you know the implications of what that means but definitely this uh windows is choosing the favored cores on its own without any intervention on me, reading from the hardware itself, and then uh, dynamically assigning Minecraft to those cores, and then moving the thread around to manage temperatures and keep the uh, frequencies high and stuff like that. So anyway, I hope that's of interest to you. Again, uh, if you're an AMD person, uh, Ryzen has a similar type of technology, and these videos are about how to think about this stuff and see it and monitor it, uh, I have a video on how to set up MSI Afterburner like this on your system. But I discovered this pretty much independently of knowing the cores just by monitoring on MSI Afterburner and seeing how the CPUs and stuff were moving around. So anyway, uh, this processor in particular has very good uh, single thread applicate, single thread performance. And that's why uh, I chose it but it is indeed enhanced it's 15 percent better single threaded performance when you're using this particular technology so if you're in the market to buy a uh, particular cpu for uh, playing minecraft and you you know you're trying to determine then you might want to take a look at some some of this stuff a little bit more again ryzen has a similar thing but uh i do know for a fact in real world performance that these intel i9 chips really handle minecraft very very well anyway thanks so much for watching guys this is scott omato have a great day we'll see you in the next one bye bye